It smells a little bit off, like a cockroach, maybe? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Parasite. Only been waiting forever to watch this after so many people have given this film such acclaim. The hype around it is massive. It looks like it's definitely the front runner for winning Best Picture of the Oscars. And I can definitely say that the hype is warranted. This is a classism film that isn't on the head with its allegories. It's not shoving a message down your throat. It is a very subtle, but very engaging, and very multi-layered narrative about the ideas of people in class separation of society, the mentality that people from the lower class view the upper as well as vice versa, and what happens when those cultures clash and come to a head. Director Bong Joon-ho has been known for making films about classism and about sort of certain ideas and allegories of society. Snowpiercer was a big one, the whole idea of a train system being a form of class, a representation of society. Then he made Okja, which admittedly I haven't seen, and apparently he's made other films, Korean films, in the past on the same sort of subject. What I like about Parasite is that he goes back to the type of film Korean cinema that made him popular that he's been very well known with he gets some actors that he's used in the past and he brings them all together all these themes all these different actors all these different elements from his films of the past and he puts this into a caper Hitchcock sort of story you think you're getting this side of the table from the story then they turn the table around like this and you think you've got the whole thing and then they flip the table over and that's when the entirety of the film its premise, its execution, all just digs a giant hook in you and you don't stop looking at the screen until the film's over. There's a part about halfway through the film, my mouth was ajaw because I was just so enthralled at this moment. It's when the story adds this layer of intensity and another kind of forward figure, metaphorical, which the film keeps on making kind of comment jokes about. It, diversifies itself from films of its genre. The film doesn't really go the way you think. It follows plans. It follows kind of a layout of some form of films that you've seen before, but there's scenarios that are different, except each part is still engaging and it's new and it's exciting. The performances are very, very good in this film. The main father figure in particular, you see how he goes from kind of a person who has an upside to their lives to thinking that there can be some form of good out of what they're doing, that they can make something better for themselves. And as the plan starts to unfold, you see that he starts to see just how the world is represented. Every part of this film means something. Every single scene has a purpose and it has a reason for existing, not just to help patter out time. That's something that's definitely missing from a lot of mainstream cinema, the idea of making every scene actually matter, actually having it necessary to the story. It was a bit different than what I was expecting, but I was pleasantly surprised by that difference, and I definitely can say I understand why people are talking about it. It's not exactly what I would call a film of the decade. I could put it up there. I would definitely register it as that. Is it my favorite film of 2019? I, I wouldn't put it above 1917 just because I just had this incredible experience of 1917. I, I definitely think it's one of the best movies of 2019 and it is one of the better movies in recent years. There's no negative to this film, I think. That's one thing I can definitely say. There's nothing about it that I can say that is not done well. There's not a part that is a negative or a takeaway from it, from its writing, from its acting, from its representation of everything. Even though there are some parts that maybe I wouldn't say are like, Whoa! I would still agree that this is still a fantastically well put together movie. All the good buzz makes sense because it deserves it. It's definitely a movie I would like to see again. And the more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm going to find all these elements that I enjoy and all these other little hidden layers and all these different things that Ho was trying to bring out. In the end, I'm gonna give Parasite a seven out of seven. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really good. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. If you enjoyed this review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.